how are you lovely lovely beautiful beautiful people doing today In this video i will be sharing with you my 2020 vision board and discussing the things that came true and the things that are gonna end up on this year's vision board as well so without further ado let's get started <laughs> okay so this is my 2020 uh vision board and i had so many goals and things on this thing like oh my gosh it's actually like wow as crazy as 2020 was because i think we all know we all know 2020 was good <laughs> okay. 2020 was a lot was a lot but anywho so before we get started let's explain what a vision board is essentially a vision board a mood board is just a piece of paper piece of cardboard anything really that has a bunch of images or words that showcase what you're trying to do for your future and you can make a vision board at any point in time i just personally like to do one for the year and this past year 2020 was the first time i had ever done one and the reason was simply because i thought it was a bunch of like who blue like what the world what you want me to put some pictures on a board like what huh huh but here's the thing right i was like what do i have to lose let's try it let's see what it does and if it doesn't work we don't have to do it again <clears throat> but i've done it now so now i'm gonna do it every single year so yeah a lot of people also get a bunch of magazines and just cut up pretty pictures and put them to a board that i mean and you can do that that's a very 2012 tumblr way to do things but um i personally think it's a better idea to write down your goals in a journal write down all of them your one year three year five year ten year whatever write your goals down and then from those goals for your one year let's say because this is going to be a yearly thing for me in those one year goals picture the thing that you want to achieve picture the thing that you believe will symbolize you checking that off right so that's what i chose to do and i'm going to walk you guys through it we have a couple of different categories we have like relationships career travel uh, more career personal um house car um academic um spiritual a bunch a bunch of things right a bunch of things right and even though 2020 has been insane actually actually like wh what what um <clears throat> even though it's been crazy i have still ticked off majority of this board which is mind-boggling to me because anyway we're gonna get into it so let's start with the first category that is on this and that is relationship so as most of you guys know i'm engaged and i got engaged in december of 2019 and so on my board i put a big old picture of a ring that looks very similar to my ring to represent my relationship and i also have this picture of this two people man and a woman and hello and a heart um, and that was to symbolize communication and closeness and talking um and i put these two together because i was like we are engaged. I want to make sure we are communicating. I want to make sure that we are near to each other. I want to make sure that we are making sure that this is what we want to do. Lo and behold, 2020 surely put a, put us together, all right? A couple months in quarantine. And it's so funny because so many people in our lives were confused and wondering like if we were okay. Were we fighting? Is everything all right? And we were sitting here like, we Gucci. Because uh, this is what we wanted to do the whole time. But anyway, so next section we're going to talk about is career. For my career, I have two people on here, two beautiful, black, talented women. Um, black women that make me feel like I can do what it is I'm setting out to be, which is to be a very successful, talented actor. And that is uh, Renee and Audra McDonald. So these are two women that I just chef's kisses. If you don't know who they are, what are you? What are you? Okay. Um... <laughs> And the funny thing is, is that this section, I didn't know what this would look like, right? I didn't know what, what it was going to be. But this year, as crazy as 2020 was, was the year that I got probably the most acting that I've done in a short amount of time, whether that was virtual or whether that was um, auditions that I didn't even plan to go out for. That is insane to me that 
I booked and got casted in things that I didn't even actively seek out. And I thought that that was really, really cool. And as an actress, that's one of the things that you look forward to is when your talent speaks for itself, where your work ethic speaks for itself, where they don't need to see you in a room with a bunch of other people to see if you're the right fit because they know your work and they know that you'll do the work. And I thought that was really cool that that happened to me on more than one occasion. So yay for me. <laughs> I really wanted to do my like influencer thing, right? And I finally got that opportunity to do that. And two opportunities presented itself to me where I got to just open a package and give my review on it. And that was what I had to do. And that was my post. And I thought that it was really cool that I put this on here. So I'm going to continue to in expand upon this because I thought it was so, so cool that simply because I put on some lashes or opened a picture frame that they loved that about me and just wanted my personality and that they thought that that would be the thing to like help sell their product. And I thought that that was really cool that I was seen in that way. So next we've got personal growth. For personal growth, it's kind of a combination of a lot of things. So um, I have my red nails. I don't have red nails today, but I do have nails that are done. But at the beginning of the year, I was getting my nails done, hunty, okay? And it was merely because uh, for me, it's difficult for me to treat myself, to spoil myself, because I'm always um, worried about rainy day things. And I'm always making sure that I have enough to provide for myself or someone else if they need me or if I need to take care of something. But for me, it's always difficult for me to splurge on myself or treat myself. Um, but for 2020, I wanted to actively do that. And, I want, and one of the ways in which I would do that is doing my nails because I love when my nails are done. I just feel pretty, I just feel girly, I just feel put together. And so I was doing that now towards the middle of quarantine and got a little dicey because you can't go into a nail salon where they're touching you and there's close to your face. So I uh, didn't do that. But what I did do is I had like press on and stuff like that and which was really, really nice. Here, a beautiful woman, but I really just picked her on here because I liked her weave. Um, yes. My nails were pressed, yes. Um, and I picked her because I loved her weave. And the funny thing is, right, after making this vision board, right, I had no idea who this person was. But I now follow this person on Instagram and very shortly after making this board, like literally the next day, I remember I was so freaked out and it was so cool. I stumbled upon her YouTube video, okay, where I stumbled upon her YouTube video where she was getting this hair installed. So I know exactly what hair this is. And I was so stoked. It was so creepy, right? Because this is the hair I wanted and that's the hair I got. And I was so excited because I was like, oh my gosh, I actually tick. I was like, tick mark. Uh. Now, here's was my central quote for the year. And it was women who invest in themselves go further. Those examples is when I bought my sparkly boots. I love my sparkly boots. I'll post a picture of them. I'll show you them. Um, but I love those boots so, so much. And it was such a freeing feeling for me to see them in a store window, want them and walk out with them. Because there are so many instances in my life where I've wanted something, seen it, but been like, mm, I, I don't need it. And then like walk out the store. And sometimes I could purchase the thing and sometimes I couldn't. But this time I was like, you know what? I want it and I can get it. So why aren't I? And so I did and it felt, and I freaked out a little bit. <laughs> I did freak out because again, it's, it's a new territory for me, but I did do it and it felt so good. It felt so nice and be like, wow, actually it probably is a good thing to treat yourself because you work really hard, Danielle. Next on this board, we've got a part-time. This was to represent a part-time job and um, I did get one. And I, and I loved it. I thought it was, well, I didn't love it, but I love the check. And um, I thought it was great. It was a great opportunity for me. It presented itself as well. Like I didn't actively seek out this part-time job. This, someone called me. No, someone texted me. It was like, hey, do you need a part-time job? And I was like, huh? And I immediately looked at this board and I was like, yeah. And then they hooked me up. My friend, love you girl. It was so chill, so cool. And yeah, but the only thing is the pandemic kind of shut that job down. Um, here we have savings um, and I wanted to save some money this year and it was difficult to do this because 2020 was very expensive for various reasons but I was able to save some and I was really proud of what I was able to save so 
yes, I wanted to save. Um, and I have this because I want it to be closer to God and I'm going to always have something related to this on my board because I just always want to continue to be closer to him. Um, and then we have physical, uh, like uh, remember why you started and a beautiful black fit person. Um, no, this didn't work out for me. 2020 made, I know, I, <clears throat> that did not happen, but it's okay because we're going to keep, we're going to keep moving forward. We're going to keep moving forward. Okay. Um, next we have grad and a very beautiful picture of Beyonce smiling and um, I'm graduating in 2021 and I'm so excited. And the funny thing is, is the semester that we were doing this pandemic and everything, right? I wrote a paper on Beyonce's homecoming and it was so cool. And it was like a, a very lengthy paper. I, and I'm so proud of that thing. Like it's, it's phenomenal. Next we have uh, 4,000 hours and a thousand subscribers. Did not achieve this. This was dedicated towards YouTube, even though there's no word of YouTube on here. But the thing that I did achieve is I did grow my Instagram quite a bit. And I also got over 3000 and something on TikTok. And so I could get to 4000 soon. I mean, that could be really cool. 4000 followers. The coffee maker is being disrespectful. Yeah, that's the end of my board and I'm so proud of what I was able to oh, Yeah, this is my board for 2020 I'm so so proud of what I was able to accomplish especially in a year so chaotic and crazy and it just reaffirms for me that I am on the right path I am doing what I'm supposed to and no and I know that these boards are not magic and they don't just poof things into existence or whatever but they do put what you want out there and it puts what you want in your face and it makes you work for it and it makes you look at it every day and be like am i closer to this goal and if the answer is yes then you're like yes but if the answer is no you're like what can i do to improve that? another thing that i did as i'm wrapping up is i took a picture of this board when i was finished and i made it my home screen not my lock screen because that gets a little redundant you see your lock screen in my opinion much more than you see your home screen but i made it my home screen and it didn't change it throughout the entire year because i wanted to when i looked at my phone when i got off tiktok when i got off social media when i got off an email i could see my goals i could see why i was working so hard and that is something that i think is truly truly beautiful and magical so try that if you'd like thanks so much for watching again and i will see all you lovely lovely beautiful beautiful people next time with a new video bye guys Baby.